Hello guys and welcome to Thursday in the comeback week. Today I'm going to be playing the Castle of Jumping map. Uh, go to sleep in the shack now. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing this is the groundskeeper shack, spare beds available. So this is going to be a parkour map. I enjoy parkour maps. Oh, what's happening here? Jiggling my head about. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh... Listen to that if you can hear that, guys. Tired, why not rest this shack? Hmm, okay. The Castle of Jumping and Falling, presented to you by Salmaras. Thanks to Lambda Fish for helping with the build. Testing thanks, Carnfowl TNT317, Blue Fire Sword. If you're reading this, you've neglected to evacuate when needed. Unfortunately, this means you're trapped. However, you can make your way through the castle and escape, though you may find that a bit trickier after everything has everything that has happened. Regardless, I bid you luck, good luck in escaping this damn place. You're the court wizard. Uh, yours, the court wizard. Okay, <laughs> not you're the court wizard. Rules. No breaking blocks. Collect secret chests. Play on peaceful. Yep. Free food. That's not a rule, that's just a sign. No placing blocks, no cheating with mods. Good luck, have fun. Right, so... I don't think we'll need all that food. Parkour training. Right, let's see. Basic jump. Sprint jump. The wall. Okay, the test. Oh, didn't sprint there. Oh, goodness. Oh, flipping heck, that was difficult. If I can't do the training, I don't know how I'm going to do for the rest of the map. Okay, hup, hup. Oh, God. Almost jumping off it again. Okay, there we are. Right. Congratulations, you beat the parkour training. You are now a fully qualified Minecraft tracer. I don't even know how to say that word. I'm useless. Right, so we've read the rules. We've seen that. I'm guessing this is the way to go. Okay. Oh, there's always something under the water. Ah! White wool. So I'm guessing we have to collect some walls. And then I'm guessing, like Vex Maps, you have to put them in a monument or something at the end. Right, so those two ways are closed, so I'm guessing we can't go there yet. Academic wing. Library. Well, I guess we'll look around a little bit for these chests, if we can find them. Nothing in here. Right. Uh, I do like parkour maps, and this has been shown to be a very well-made, realistic-looking style type one. Alchemy Workshop. Oh, goodness. Right, let's look around for this chest. Can we go this way? We can go this way. There we are. Ooh. There we go. Oh, it's actually giving us a little bit of a shortcut across this. Uh, yep, we can make that. Oh, another chest down there. Yellow wool. Okay. There's three of them already. Better at this type of parkour than I thought I would be. Mage's Tower. Yep, there's another one. Oh, didn't take it though. Just looking for all these crevices in walls and stuff. Oh, goodness. Whoop. Ah, there we are. Oh. Okay. That wasn't too hard. That wasn't too hard. Oh, oh yes. I double tapped space there instead of double tapping W. I thought I'd muck that up. Whoop. Okay. Okay. Ah, there we are. I'm guessing there's a chest somewhere. Ah, here we are. <laughs> right. Pull this lever to open the next set of rooms. Hmm, okay. Oh, nice ding there from a music block, apparently. So, I'm guessing there's the 16 wool that are in the game, the 16 colours. I'm assuming, at least. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, these pictures, there's got to be something behind them. Oh, 
Yep, you can see through it. There we are. Pink wool. What about this one? Nothing around that side. Nothing through there. <laughs> there's... Right click behind these, make sure there's nothing hidden behind them. Right, there's torches in those, torches in those two. Nothing up. I'm just looking for all these chests now. It's not even that important, but... Okay, uh, fall through that. Okay, so it looks like the quarters are open now. Uh, great hall. Feel free to leave any wall blocks here. Ah. Though, do remember to collect them later. Right. Ah, so if we fell in the lava, we wouldn't lose everything. Um. Ooh, there we are. Purple. Pool lever. Don't forget wool. Oh, okay. There we are. So when it said don't forget to get them later, it actually meant like three seconds later. Um, can't actually, can we make that? We can make that. I was assuming we'd have to jump on top of those things, but apparently not. Just always check there's no walls down here. Nope. Kitchen. Right. Check the furnaces. Make sure there's no walls hidden in those. Oh, goodness. Um. Oh, flipping heck. That was terrible. <sighs> I guess we could just go for that lower bit. Oh, if we did a sprint jump, though. Right. Hmm. Okay. So just go for the high bit or lower bit? Lower bit, apparently. Right. Nothing in these furnaces. Hmm. Portal up there. Throne room, portal testing room. I can see. Oh, I can flip it. Neck. I saw that chest over there. Oof. Cyan. Cyan, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and. Oof. Okay, that's that set of the levels done now. So, what are the other ones called? We'll find out, I guess. I know that the the guy who made this, whose name I read out at the beginning and now can't remember, uh, they're making a, a kingdom of jumping and falling as the next part of this. I think it continues on. I'm not sure. It might just end and then carry on in the next one. But I know that they're not actually finished with it. They've got like a demo version out. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, they've got like a demo version out, but Castle Gardens Workshops. But they haven't actually finished all the parts to it, because I had a quick look at it and there was a lot of areas that it said coming soon. So, ah, oh, it doesn't ma matter that we fell down there, because I'm going to try and get to this chest anyway. Lime, right. I'm guessing we have to go up over these things. There's nothing to jump on on the tree. Oh, another chest. Lucky I actually looked at that tree then. Probably wouldn't have found it any other way. Oh, there's a block here we can jump on. Okay, nothing down here. Oh, I guess we have to jump on the tree anyway. Else we would have seen it probably. Okay, that was quite a cool room. Had to jump over lots of different styles of blocks. Engineer's Workshop. Just checking all these. Can't check that furnace really. Okay. Uh. Oh, I see. We can't actually get up that bit. Ugh, I can't even check all those because they're too far away. Ah, oh, even though I fell, I hit it. So there we are. Oh, that's quite cool. Ah, oh, you sneaky things. Oops. Oh, switch the purple wall. Ah, what am I doing? There we go. Haven't actually had to eat anything, which I'm surprised at. There we are. <laughs> Nothing up here, is there? Nope. 
Can't right click on anything, so I'm guessing not. Sorry if you can still hear all those mouse clicks like on every other episode. I've tried to move the mouse further away from the actual microphone so that it's not so prominent. Hillside mineshaft. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be plummet into some water, but nope. Just a nice little ladder. Oh, cool. So I guess we have to jump around in these mines or something. Uh, trying to keep an eye out for chest. Oh, chests on the way though. I'm guessing we have to go up this one. It seems kind of obvious. Oh, if you can still sprint jump though. I wish there was just one button that you could use for sprint rather than having to double tap W all the time. Actually, there might be. I just haven't checked the controls. Let's see that, shall we? No, there's nothing for just sprint. I know that if you have the smart moving mod, then there is something for just sprint, but... Not currently on here. You still have to double tap. I haven't actually been checking above me on all these jumps to check that there's nothing I can bash my head on by accident. Because on every other parkour map there seems to be. Boats. Why is there only one? There's a boat missing in that one. Oh, I know that somewhere along here is going to be a chest and it's going to really annoy me. And I probably won't bother looking for it. Or I could just go backwards and look behind me. But I don't want to because there's edges like this. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. With nothing in it. Okay. Uh... But then every time I'm looking down, I'm missing all these corners, which is annoying as well. Right, let's see. Ugh, there's nothing in there, I don't think. Hmm. Hmm. Why is that flowing and that one not? Is that because there's a chest under there? Apparently not. Ugh, they wouldn't have been harsh enough to put it under there. Oh. Place any wall you collected on the stands, or if you collected all 16, use them to create a bridge to that room. Oh, I don't think I have all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Damn it. I really want to get over there, though. Oh, well. I guess that's another incentive for you guys to try out this map yourself. Because then maybe you could get over there. Uh, yellow. Put these down here. White. Oh, missed the light grey. Light blue. Get the cyan down. Missed the light blue as well, apparently. Lime. Green. Oh, brown. Dark grey. Oh, so. Light blue. Blue. Black and light grey. You we missed. Well done on escaping the castle. Oh. Okay, I'm turning back now. Um, now you just need to. Uh, now you just need a way to open the door. This will. Con this will. Yeah, uh, this could take a while. Continued in plot two. Right. So when that the kingdom of falling and jumping is actually out, we will play that one when it's eventually out. So for now, that's this series of maps over. Thanks for watching Thursday's comeback day guys.